Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new demo. Today we have the brand new Imperial Wonders Mount Adoption License. Now, I can't actually unlock them this time around because I already did that and then the power went out. Uh, and I lost the video file. Yay! And then it happened again, but we're back again uh, to try, hopefully, third time lucky. So let's start off with the Marshland Sage Canton Raptor. Looks pretty nice. It's got a little bit of a jingle. So it does, and everything bar the saddle is dieable. So let's go check those die channels out. I really like the face in this one. Uh, so I do. It is quite nice looking. So the default is enameled longevity, glints, purview, winter mint, and midnight blue. As you can see, full shadow abyss, everything bar the eyes and saddle is dieable. Top left is the main part of the face and around the hind leg and tail there. Top right is the belly, paws, and the eye sockets, as well as the tip of the horn. There's a nice idol. Bottom left is the top part of the tail and the main part of the back there, as well as the tip of the snout and the lower part of the horn. And then bottom right is all the hair and the tendrils. And then here is a contrasting layer, so blue on the top left, green on the top right, purple on the bottom left, and orange on the bottom right. That's all the different layers interact with each other. Lovely. Let's move on to the next raptor. Here we go. Now, next up we have the wind-swept mystic canton raptor, which also looks pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. Nice uh, default dies here. So there is, again, there's no unique kind of engage or mount dismount patterns here on these die channels. Or mount skins, I should say, which is a little bit annoying, but there we go. Let's look at the die channels. So default is celestial with stone, and then we have crush and spring tide down below. We'll go full shadow abyss, so here is everything that is diable. The face is a little bit weird in full shadow abyss there. Uh, so everything bar the horn and the saddle and the eyes. Top left is the main part of the hair or across the entire body. Top right is the inner of the ears, the snout and the belly there. Bottom left is the paws, and bottom right is all the hair and tendrils yet again. And here is a contrasting layer, blue on the top left, green on the top right, orange on the bottom right, and purple on the bottom left. Lovely stuff. The eyebrows are dieable, that's kind of nice. Hmm. Let's move on to our final raptor, here we go. Next up we have the Aurora Blessed Raptor. Here it is, it looks really nice, this one. I love the sort of uh, purpley, lilac-y sort of glow layer and the Aurora Aura. <laughs> the Aurora Aura is very nice. Looks really, really cool. Default dies here are Shadow Blue, Ash, Underworld, and Lavender. There is full Shadow Abyss. Top left is the main body and parts of the aura. Top right is the lower part of the aura and the star part. Bottom left is the sort of around the body aura, I could guess you could say. And then bottom right is the glow effect and more aura again, as well as the toenails and some of the stars too. And here is our contrasting layer again. Blue on the top left, green on the top right, purple on the bottom left, and orange on the bottom right. So the bottom left seems to be the color that affects the trail aura effect the most when you're in movement. And then the top right and top left when you're still. Alright, let's move on to the only Springer skin that we have in this set. 
So here we go, we have the Pleasant Country Cuckoo. Which I think has a bit of a purple when it goes. Yeah, a little bit there. There's no really unique dismount or mount up ability, so it's just that little splash of color right there. Overall, this cuckoo looks quite nice. I think the ones in the last set were looking better. This is more of a plain version. I feel like they seem to be only using the Canton models recently rather than just making whatever they feel like, if you get me. Maybe they felt obliged to do the cuckoo model that they brought out and make a few of them. Anywho, let's have a look at the die channels. This is, of course, default dies here. Which is Mithril, Hunt, Shadow Orange, and Flame. We'll go full Shadow Abyss. Here is full Shadow Abyss. So everything bar the eyes and the uh, talons there are dieable. Maybe the beak as well. I think the uh, talons aren't dieable. Top left is the kind of belly, mostly. Top right is sort of the main part of the sides and the kind of eyebrow y part, as well as the tuft on the tail there. Bottom left is the tips of the tails, the main part of the face, and the wings here as well. And then bottom right is the main part of the back, so from kind of the beak all the way down to the end of the tail, pretty much. And here is our contrasting layer, blue on the top left, green on the top right, purple on the bottom left, and orange on the bottom right. And that's how all the different layers intertwine with each other. You got a lot, well, pretty much every channel here on the wings. It's quite nice. All right, let's move on to the next group, which is the Jackals. Okay, here is the first Jackal, the Hidden Path Vulpine. It looks quite nice. Now we're gonna have a bit of color to each of these Vulpine mounts, and each time the die channels that affect it are all gonna be the same, I believe it's three that affect it. I think it's the top two and the bottom right, if I recall correctly. But yeah, it looks very nice. The default dies here are Warband, Pastel Citrus, Butter, and Tarnish. And I should say that there is no unique amount of dismount, except I think the yellow there, the uh, Butter, might affect the color over the Jackal as it's spawning in. And there's nothing for the Engage either. Here is full Shadow Abyss, so everything bar the saddle is dieable, and the eyes as well are also a set color. Top left is kind of middle part of the jackal from kind of the snout all the way down, covers sections throughout, and the I think the larger rings on the tail, but we'll find out in a minute. Top right is going to be the sort of lower jaw, the eyebrows and the rear hindquarters there, as well as the underside of the tail. Bottom left is the ears, the snout a little bit, and the belly, as well as parts of the tail. And bottom right is the other rings on the tail, and the main part of the back. Oh, as well as the saddle, sorry. That is diable there. And the backs of the ears. And here is a contrasting layer. Blue on the top left, green on the top right, purple on the bottom left, and orange on the bottom right. And then, yeah, so it's the top two and the bottom one as well uh, that are affected. It's a little bit of orange there, not a lot. It's mainly the green and the blue, which are the top two layers. Blue being the left and green being the right for the um, movement ability. Let's move on to the next. Oh, oh, hello. All right, let's move on to the next one. Here we go. Next up, we have the Oceanic Vulpine. That looks really, really cool. I love the head on this one. Looks great. Nice and scaly. Again, we have that very similar uh, movement ability effect that looks quite nice 
So the default diet is Zaf, we have Quick Stalk, we have Papaya, and we have Sea Green. Let's go full Shadow Abyss. So it looks like everything bar the metal parts of the saddle are dieable here. Here is the top left, so it's the main part of the scales across the body. So it's a bit of the head there as well. The top right is the belly, down to the very tip of the tail. Bottom left is the sort of fins across the body. And then bottom right is the saddle and the eyes. Here is our contrasting layer yet again. Blue on the top left, green on the top right, purple on the bottom left, and orange on the bottom right. And that's how all the different layers blend together. And again, as you can see, it's the same movement ability for all of the raptors today, or jackals, I should say. Okay, let's move on. Okay, and this is where the power went out last time, so hopefully we make it through this time. Um, this is the Dark Mist. This is the one that's affected by the die channel for the uh, mount up and mount down spawning. The bottom right channel affects it, which also affects the eyes there. Uh, and, but yeah, here we are with the Dark Mist's Vulpine. We're getting a nice idol here. It is again the exact same teleportation movement ability. Right, let's have a look at the dyes. Here we go. So the default dyes are Zafra, Butter, Deep Glacial Teal, and Lime Breeze. Uh, let's go full Shadow Abyss, so everything bar the saddle, or at least the main parts of the saddle, again, is dyeable. Top left is the main body and the main part of the mists. Top right is the sort of highlight through the mists around the main body. Bottom left is the saddle, and bottom right is the eyes. And here is a contrasting layer. Blue on the top left, green on the top right, purple on the bottom left, and orange on the bottom right. And again, you can see that we have that same teleportation uh, with this die pattern here. Right, what's next? Next is the War Claws. Let's do it. There is no skimmers in this pack, unfortunately. And I want to save the griffins for the end for where we can glide around. There's also no beetle in this pack, interestingly enough. And the war clause is where the pair went out the first time, so... You know what, I'm going to stop the recording here and start it again, I think. Just to be safe. So here is the Divine Predator Neon. This is not default, this is default for the Blazing Neon that we're going to see in a few minutes here. Looks pretty good. Oh, I was close to the edge, wasn't it? Oh, God. But yeah, it looks very nice. Let's look at the default dice. Right now, this is Shadow Turquoise on top and Destroyer Orange down below. And the default goes to Gold, Arid, Worn Bone, and Blue Lion. Which is this here. And some of the whiskers do kind of look like teeth from some angles, but they are not. So don't worry about that. <laughs> I quite like the die pad on this one. The speckles of blue is, is really good. Uh, and let's have a look at the individual die channels. First up, full shadow abyss as we get into our idol here. Everything is dieable bar the some parts of the saddle. Top left is the kind of back of the horn, the tendrils, and a lot of the fur on the back of the war claw. Bottom right is sort of the scaly parts underneath, as well as the front part of the horn and the start of the tendrils there and the ears. Bottom left is the end of the tendrils and all the speckles throughout the body. And bottom right should be the saddle and most of the main tufts of hair and some stripes throughout the main body. Here is our contrasting layer. Blue on the top left, green on the top right, purple on the bottom left, and orange on the bottom right. You see little specks of purple throughout. Uh, I guess it is the smallest channel of the lot, so... Yeah, but that's all the different layers of colour interacting with each other. Uh, let's move on to the next Warclaw. Here we go. Right, next up we have the Battlehorn Neon Warclaw. Also looks pretty nice. I quite like this one. Uh, one of my more preferred sort of basic Warclaw skins. Not too fancy. But it looks good. The dyes here, we have white with grey... Mountain Sky and Periwinkle. Uh, 
Now the horns are not diable on this Warclaw, which is a bit annoying, but let's go full Shadow Abyss and see what is diable. And he doesn't even roar when he does his idle. Interesting. So yeah, the horns are not diable, the eyes as well as the top of the saddle there. Top left is all the fur across the body and the face. Top right is the mane and the paws, as well as the tip of the tail. Bottom left is more of the ends on the mane, as well as here are the sort of elbowy bits and the very, very tip of the tail. And then bottom right should be the saddle and tips of the horn. Here is a contrasting layer. Yet again, blue on the top left, green on the top right, purple and orange down below. That's how all the different layers interact with each other. Quite a lot going on in the head. It's a shame that the base of the horns aren't diable. Uh, but let's move on to the next war claw, the final war claw. Here we go. Right, this is where I got to the first time, the blazing neon. Ooh, it looks cool. So I haven't actually seen this one yet. Uh, I love the ember effects coming off of the the neon. It just looks great. Got a little bit of a trail. More so when you're using your movement skill. Nothing different from the mount up, dismount, or engage. But just from your movement, your your dash, you get a little bit of a trail effect and a bit of a flame sort of sound effects. Wonder if they took that from the glider they made, maybe. Perhaps. Whenever that was. Alright, let's look at the default dies, which are Shadow Turquoise on top and Destroyer Orange down below. We're gonna go full Shadow Abyss and see what is and isn't diable. Pretty much everything is diable bar yet again. Maybe the eyes, though I think they will be diable, and the gist of the saddle there, the center part. Top left is the main part of the scales and Underneath the mane there and the face and the tendrils. Top right is all the tufts of hair. Bottom left is the saddle. And bottom right should be all of the flame effects. So again, it's the hair, the paws, the underbelly, all that flame effect there is affected by the bottom right. And here's our contrasting layer yet again. Blue on the top left, green on the top right, purple on the bottom left, and orange on the bottom right. Purple is really just the saddle here. Oh, the mouth gets dyed too. That's nice. And green is mainly just on the hair slash feathery bits. Hmm. All right, let's head on to... We'll do Skyscale next, I think. Okay, in sky scales, first we have the hooded cobra noble sky scale, which is, as you can imagine, a very snake like sky scale. Looks pretty nice. There is no unique color for the engage skill, and nothing new for the dismount and mount up. Pretty basic. The die colors today, let's see. Shadow Abyss on top, charred as well with Midnight Red and Destroyer Orange down below. The defaults are Chestnut, Lemon Tint, Midnight Blue, and Starry Night. And that's what these guys look like here. Let's double check that the bottom right doesn't affect that die channel. Maybe it does now. No, no, no. I find the wings on this guy are... They look very big. Also kind of weird. They look almost... I don't know what it is. Uh, very flat, I don't know. Just... I don't know why, they just kind of stick out to me. Um, but yeah, overall quite nice. Let's look at the die channels. So, everything bar the sort of uh, bony bits, I believe, on the tail and the claws down here is diable. Of course, the saddle as well is not diable top left is the main part of the skin all across the body top right is the under layer of skin so the belly and the bottom of the wings there I just they feel like they're inside out or something I don't know uh, bottom left is a sort of alt layer of skin 
so the kind of center part of the back, the army bits of the wings, the very tips of the wings down here, the bottom, as well as the back of the neck there. Um, bottom right is the stripes through the body. Oh, and the eyes, I think. Yeah, the eyes too. Nice. And here is the contrasting dyes. So we have blue on the top left, green on the top right, purple on the bottom left, and orange on the bottom right. That's how they all interact with each other there. Nice. Alright, let's move on to our next sky skill, Orin's Prismatic Sky Skill. Or Noble Sky Skill, I should say. Which does indeed look quite noble, and we have that sort of orin both trail effect and shimmery sound effect. And we have a unique engage skill. Awesome. A prismatic one. I love it. Always nice to see. And always unexpected too. Mount up, dismount seems pretty standard. Let's have a look at the die channels. So, default here, we have Blint Sanctuary, Blue Ice on top, with Nectar and Daffodil down below. Go full Shadow Abyss. Pretty much everything is dieable, you're still going to get that white glow there all the time. And it, it does give it a bit of a blue vibe, the Shadow Abyss, as well as the saddle is not dieable. Top left is kind of the main part of the scales across the body. Top right is the sort of lower belly, the claws, and the top of the face as well as some parts of the wings here especially around the back as you can see there and we'll see more of that with our contrast layer in a minute bottom left is sort of speckles across the entirety of the skin as well as all of the prisms and bottom oh bottom right really affects the light shining out of the sky scale here is our contrasting layer. Blue on the top left, green on the top right, purple on the bottom left, and orange on the bottom right. So orange really affects the trail effects and the aura. Does anything affect the engage skill? No, it's always going to be prismatic. Okay, and you always have that really bright white light as well. Right, let's move on to the turtle. And we only have one turtle skin today, the Glacial Turtle skin, which is still pretty stuck, though the console up here is a little bit more frozen than usual. That's about it. It does not seem like anything is different apart from that, which is a bit annoying. The dyes here. The dyes here we have afternoon... Blood on top with Royal Blue and Breeze down below. And the default is Afternoon with Resolution and then Robin and Breeze as well. And that's what this looks like here. I'm still waiting for a truly unique turtle skin. It always takes a little bit of time when they add a new skin. Here is Full Shadow Abyss, as you can see. Everything bar the saddle is diable. Here we go. Top left is the main part of the skin of the turtle. Top right is the main part of the shell, as well as the eyes. Ooh, that looks freaky there. Bottom left is the belly, and the lower part of the shell. And then bottom right is all the glacial stuff, so all of the ice and a bit of the aura there. And here's our contrasting layers. We have blue on the top left, purple on the top right, uh, <laughs> green on the bottom left, and orange on the bottom right. I was in walk mode, didn't even realize. Kind of see how all the different layers blend together there. Very nice. Alright, let's move on to the griffins, finally. So, first up, you have the Skyborn Sprinter Tigress skin. This is what it looks like here. Looks pretty nice. I do indeed like the head. Uh, yeah, I really like the design of the head. It looks very feline, very nice. Let's take it for a spin. pretty good. 
so it does. Can we get back to where I was? Somewhere over here. There it is. Not pull up. Oh, that's annoying. Right, let's have a look at the default dyes here. So we Shadow Abyss, Murky Grey, Black Cherry, Midnight Red at the moment. Default is Brass with Ancient Silver, and then Shadow Abyss with Sea Foam. And that's what that looks like there. A lot more, uh, well, Tigery, which is very nice. Let's go full Shadow Abyss here. So pretty much everything is dyeable. Looks like the horns aren't dyeable, the eyes and the gem on the collar, as well as most of the harness. So top left seems to be the main part of the fur along the body, as well as the front of the wings there. Top right is mostly the feathers on the wings, as well as the neck and around the face and in the ears. Bottom left seems to be all of the tips of the feathers there, down the tail, and some of the kind of spots and stripes through the fur. And then bottom right is the collar and the saddle. But here is a contrasting layer, blue on the top left, green on the top right, purple on the bottom left, and orange on the bottom right, which you can't really see, but it's just there on the collar. And that's how that looks. Okay, and finally we have the Star Blessed Tigress Griffin skin. Which is really... It's one I wouldn't go for, really, myself. It's a weird one, I find them. The, this pattern in particular. It's just like they have a... a square picture. Kinda here. And just... Ooh, that's weird. Sound effects. Just wherever the griffin goes... shows that part of the picture, if you get me. I think it's more noticeable during an idol. But I just feel like the the image doesn't really move. It's just a bit weird. Just a little bit weird. Anywho, let's have a look at the the dyes here. Default is Orchid, Golden Lion, Electro Blue, and Red. Let's have a look at the individual dyed channels. Here we go. So pretty much everything bar the saddle again is dyeable. There's some parts of it is dyeable. You think the image wouldn't go through the armor, but I think it does, does it? It does a bit, yeah. It really shouldn't do. So, top left is kind of down the back, it seems, as well as around the eyes. Top right is the main body, pretty much all of the starriness to it is top right. Bottom left is the sort of glow around the griffin. And bottom right should be the saddle. No, no, it's not. It's a second layer of that image. The background sort of starriness to it. As well as the hindquarters there and a little bit on the saddle, it seems, too. Oh, and the eyes. Nice. Here is our contrasting layer, then. Blue on the top left, green on the top right, purple on the bottom left, and orange on the bottom right. And... There we go. Is there any unique engage? Doesn't seem like it. Not really. That is a shame. But let's go take for a glide. Here we go. This is with default dies. Definitely not my favorite. So it's not. Well, there we go then. That is all of the Imperial Wonders mounts. Let's go check out the chair. Here we go. 
So this is the new comfy cat chair, uh, which is huge compared to Asura, so just wait until you see Norn's size. Um, it is absolutely massive. We still have the tag left on it, or is that a letter? I think it's a tag. Basically, your character just does a slash sleep animation on top of this cuddly uh, cat bean baggy style cushion. Or teddy style, I guess. Uh, but yeah, that's it there. Quite nice. Let's go check this out on all the different races of Tyria. Here we go. Here we are with the comfy cat chair on Silvari, and it looks quite decent. Again, it's it's huge compared to the size of your character. You know, it's like, what, one, two, maybe five times the size of your character or so. And as I said, it is just the slash sleep animation that your character does atop the comfy cat. Right, let's head on to our next race. Here we go. Ooh, these wings look good, actually. Anyway, here is the comfy cat chair on human. Very similar. The cape does kind of go through it. Or is that the outfit? I think it's the outfit. But yeah, it's quite nice. Let's move on to Norn. Here we go. Here we are on Norn taking a rest on our new chair. Again, it's about like one, two, about five times the size of your character still. Even though I think this is the tallest Norn that there is possible. But sure. And let's head on to Char. Here we go. And here we are on Char, so let's take a look. Oh, it's actually not too big on Char, comparatively. I thought it would be bigger, to be honest. But there we go. Let's head back to Quando and wrap up the video. Here we go. Right, that is it for today's demo, guys. I do hope you enjoyed. Sorry it took so long to get out. Um, I think we found the culprit, which was a lamp. That was causing the power to get tripped over and over again. <sighs> These things happen though. So, sorry about that. Uh, but you can check out the giveaway to win with a chance to win a main skin or this new chair. And the link for that should be in the end screen. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did and subscribe for more in the future. You can check out the Discord to find out when I go live. And our screenshot challenge on the Discord channel as well. To be in with a chance to win some Black Lion skins. But yeah, that's it for me for today. So thank you so much for watching. And until next time, take care.